So, I've had an email from Thomas in, well, he doesn't say, but it really doesn't matter where he is, except to him, I suppose. But at least I don't have to put on an accent this week. Look, I really don't know why you keep on distracting me. We must get on. Thomas writes, Trudy, I've been an Alvinophile since I was a teenager. And, do you think my obsession with the female umbilicus is unusual? Right, let's deal with those points one at a time. Now, any word ending in file, P-H-I-L-E, means people who like something. A Francophile, for instance, is someone who likes the autocratic dictatorship that prevailed in Spain after the year 1939. A zoophile loves animals. No, I mean really loves animals. And then there's the X-Files, who are people who are still fond of their former partners. So, Thomas, you're an Alvinophile. Well, who isn't? Alvin the chipmunk. Or any chipmunk. I mean chipmunks. Nuff said. Oh. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. The second point is that you're obsessed with the female umby umbrella uh, belly buttons. Well, again, who isn't? <laughs> There's a sound anthropological and psychological theory to explain your condition, Thomas, but it's extremely complicated. And after all, some of my millions of viewers from all over the world and elsewhere may come from Croydon. And talking of Sir Philip Green, see you next Tuesday. And remember, keep it light. If you've been affected by any of the issues in this programme, for fuck's sake, lighten up.